Good morning, folks. Today we're going over the drought look, two different cosmological breakthroughs critical for universe-level science, and a Tier 1 look at solar and atmospheric data to make a big conclusion about climate change. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we find another fairly inactive day. We continue to see small, impulsive M-class flares, but they're not producing CMEs. The only CME activity remains off the limb in the far side, not aimed at Earth, but that doesn't mean they can't affect us. Continued far side CMEs like this one off the back of the sun are driving high energy protons along the interplanetary magnetic field. So even while the shock wave is not coming our way, the proton storm does. We are in a low level event now. We'll also keep watching the sunspots. My focus hasn't changed. I'm watching for development in that massive cluster on the left side. It'll be facing Earth as we enter next week. Up next, folks, every year, this is the time. The first drought look of the year begins to inform early planters about their plans for the coming weeks and months. Brown is drought. Yellow is where it's likely to get worse. Link for closer inspection is in the list below the video. But right now we're off to the cosmos where the focus is on satellite galaxies like the large and small Magellanic Clouds, the littler siblings to the core galactic neighborhoods. New study here slashed a recent claim about their position being in accordance with the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. Turns out that's not the case, and the model of the universe breaks for about the thousandth time. But that has been happening a lot lately, hasn't it? For example, dark energy, the invisible repelling force expanding the cosmos. Usually, our cosmology discussions focus on dark matter, but this here is the fourth time in the last several years I've seen a team come out and say dark energy doesn't exist. The best ones pin it on magnetic forces, but either way, it's good to see them step to the side of the currently accepted and massively flawed paradigm. Last but not least, Dr. Soon leads a team finding that the analysis of climate forcing can't even really begin until we do a better job with the data. Not only do they hit the solar irradiance data problems, which we've agonized over for years, but also the temperature data, which Tony Heller and others keep showing is broken and modified. No warming scare should hit home for you if you know the truth. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.